Food is like music. Food is like art. Food is like graffiti. It's like, you know, food is a creative thing. And you, you, you know, you can, you can do really simple stuff, you know, steak and chips, grill a bit of fish, you know, do something, a quesadilla or something like that. Like, you know, a guitar has however many strings and however many chords, but like how many different songs come out of it. And that's the same thing when you pick up, you know, like a steak and, you know, an onion, some carrot and some spices, you can do a thousand different things with it. And, you know, like music, you have to try and be, you know, I was taught to play drums once and like he told me to sit up straight and kind of and doing that paradiddles and all this sort of like academic stuff. And I'm like, oh, I was just not really. And then I'd get back at home and I'd just like watch a few videos and I'd just rattle out a few stuff. And like my cooking now, you know, my drumming was kind of like, I could groove, I could groove and it would feel fantastic. And, uh, you know, and it looked like I was enjoying it and it sounded like I was enjoying it. But, um, you know, it wasn't necessarily complicated, you know? And I think that is exactly the same as food. The, the best food comes from when you're having a laugh, um, you know, enjoying yourself, making stuff up, try things, you know, and, but also keep it, keep it simple. You listen to a Beatles track and it's just like and just simple chords and simple lyrics. It's not complicated, so keep it simple. And if you're starting to cook, keep it simple. And if you've got a girlfriend coming around or your mother-in-law or a bunch of mates, keep it simple. Don't go trying new stuff when you've got important people coming around. Save that for yourself in, your, the, in the peace of your kitchen.